Hi everyone, welcome to Adventures with Raven and Rowley. I'm Raven and this is Rowley. A few years ago, I started this channel to show RV living. During that time, I was living in a fifth wheel RV. Um, I've lived in an RV, a class A, and then a fifth wheel for a total of about five years. The playlist is here, if you'd like to see that. Okay. Until over a little over two months ago, um, we have lived almost a year, 11 months, full time in the Mojave Desert in, uh, in a self converted 6x12 cargo trailer. I changed the channel from RV Living to reflect living as a nomad at that time. The playlist <laughs> for the cargo trailer conversion is over here also. and and it encompasses the year of living in the desert. Last week, I talked about the differences in household appliances between the US and Switzerland. This week, I'm going to talk about why this channel is going to change yet again uh, to a life in Switzerland. If you're uh, curious as to what happens next, and so am I, uh, please join us on this journey and continue to watch. channel started out um, at my new life after a bunch of stuff happened like I had gastric bypass surgery it was it was I started brand new again okay I was living in a fifth wheel RV by that time uh, and I had, had already moved out of the class A and I talked about living in an RV and things like how to clean the black tanks the link is here, <laughs> okay, if you'd like to look at that. I got to the point that I was living penny to penny, seriously. It wasn't nickel to nickel or dime to dime, you know, or even paycheck to paycheck. It was penny to penny, okay? And so I decided and to become a nomad. Um, the waiting list for affordable housing at that time was 39 months, not days months okay i had about two months <laughs> you know i had watched uh, youtube's bob wells and uh, cheap rv living the link is in the description below uh, for years um, those videos gave me the courage to get into an rv in the first place to to downsize from the house and just get up and go and stop playing that crazy house rich and pocket poor business, okay? So never having driven anything as large as a 35 foot motorhome, I had to teach myself how to drive it. And I wanna thank YouTube University <laughs> for that knowledge. So I decided, as I said, to become a nomad. Uh, fortunately, Howard, H-O-W-A, Homes on Wheels Alliance, the link is also in the description below, um, had organized many different caravans and types of caravans. So I decided to go out on a women's only caravan that was meeting about a half an hour from where, from my home at that time, where I was living in the fifth wheel. I stayed about a week in a TP tent. If you'd like to see that, <laughs> the link is here. Okay, me living in a TP tent on the women's caravan. It was pretty cool. We had 45 mile an hour winds one night while I was there. And the problem was the tent. I had four women who helped me put up that tent. The ground uh, was called caliche. It's like natural concrete. You know, so we had to get the stakes into that. I mean, it was a mess. <laughs> Actually, we really didn't get the stakes in. We ended up tying the tie guy wires to very large rocks and piling them around the tent, you know, trying to keep everything down. But it's just, it went through 45 mile an hour winds anyway, you know. Turns out that the center pole was about two inches too long or the canvas was sewn too short or something it was a reject okay uh 
I ended up cutting off two inches off of the center steel pole and and now I can erect it myself. Okay. Anyway, I attended a few more caravans and I learned big time from the women who had been nomading in the desert for years. I met some women who'd been there doing this for 15, 16 years, you know. And uh, they had a lot of shortcuts and a lot of things I never thought about, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. I attended the WRTR and the RTR and learned that's the Rebel Tramp Rendezvous organized by Howard and learned uh, more stuff. Uh, things about the weather, how to change a tire, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and I did all of that before I went into the desert to live permanently. For the RTR, I pulled my pre-converted 6x12 cargo trailer four hours to get there. I think that was the second time I had ever pulled that cargo trailer anywhere or hitched it up or anything. I was afraid that I couldn't rehitch it. So for the 12 days that I stayed there, I never unhitched the trailer. <laughs> because I was scared to death. I couldn't get it back up, you know. Of course, I had hundreds, thousands of people out there that would have helped me, but I needed to do these things on my own for when people weren't around, you know. As I said, I was living from penny to penny, though. So I knew that I couldn't be able to continue living where I was for more than two more months anyhow. And people in the community donated and helped me get my 6x12 cargo trailer ready. Women donated windows to windows so that I could have them put in, um, gave me batteries, gave me uh, solar panels. It was you know, unbelievable, the, the help that I got in order to get out of the situation that I was in. The video link with the window installation and whatnot is here, if you'd like to see that. Well, life happens, you know how it is, and stuff changes, usually unexpectedly. So I ended up moving out of the desert uh, and moved to New Jersey for a month, me and Rowley, on our way to Switzerland. So here I am. And here we are in Switzerland, whole nother country, <laughs> whole nother weather, everything else. I noticed the other day, for some reason, it took me two months to notice that the sun doesn't go down until about 10 o'clock at night. We're 10 degrees further north latitude than I was in Nevada. So there's a big change in this channel. Since I find that I really can't talk about RVing and boondocking anymore because I don't, I'm not RVing or boondocking and I don't have any examples to show you other than what I've already showed you, you know. I can't talk about traveling around the United States by car towing a trailer because that's not what I'm doing, okay. I can't even talk about homesteading yet since I won't be back on my land for over two years. Okay, I can talk about Switzerland though, and living in this different, completely different lifestyle, going from a house to um, a motorhome, to a fifth wheel, to a cargo trailer, and now back to a house. It's amazing. Well, <laughs> for me, it's amazing, okay? Because this is not where I thought I was going to be, but you know how it is when you make plans, right? I figure that since I'm here, <clears throat> I figure that since I'm here, I'm going to see it, okay? And if you will, please join us on these adventures with Raven and Rowley. The Rowley Report. Rowley is on a diet, as I said last time, but he's on a serious diet now. He was regurgitating on the quilt at night. He was, because he ate too much, 
Uh, too many goodies, you know. He hasn't learned that he's on a diet yet. So, I'll see you next Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, and thanks for watching. Take care of you and yours, and blessed be.